Hello, and welcome to my little vegan kitchen, where we have tendonitis of the shoulder, but also a lot of vegetables to chop. So, this is gonna hurt. Lettuce soup. It may sound disgusting, but I promise you it is wonderful. Part one of this recipe was going to be opening a bottle of wine, but my bottle of wine is giving me a whole lot of trouble. First, we're gonna work on chopping up the onion and the garlic and throwing it in the pan so we can get moving, and then we will struggle with the cork some more. Today we have a carrot left over from my CSA box, a nice red onion. Let's get started with that. Olive oil, hot. Chop it in half kind of longwise, so you're cutting that root part in half. You see that everything's in a semicircle because you're not an idiot and you know how vegetables work. What everyone does is cut like horizontally and then vertically and you get this kind of like messy array of onionness that you then chop this way in order to get a dice. What I do instead is actually just cut in kind of like I'm going perpendicular to the circumference of the circle. So you just cut around it towards that center piece. Can you see me? I'm cut up nasty. All of the onions sizzle. Sizzle, motherfucker. Good. Good job. I'll we'll do a little carrot. Is it okay if carrots are green inside like that? I have no idea. Somebody tell me. Those carrots. They're pretty. As you can see how I'm getting the carrots into the pan. Oh, let's add more lights. Ah, good, good, smelly, delicious, good. Part two. Should part two be opening a bottle of wine? Yes. You're so bad at corking. You're trying to twerk instead. What's your deal? I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I just fucked this up. Can you just appreciate that for a second? What is going on here? That took so long. It is now time to salt the stuff. These look delicious. This is a whole head of lettuce. I kind of washed it. I'm just going to chop it. Point here is really to get it into small enough pieces that we can get a whole lot of surface area into contact with the hot pan. I'm gonna throw in a couple of cloves of garlic and then a fuck ton of garlic powder. Put it on the counter and then you have a big knife like this and you go like this and then you go cool and then it's all minced up. Get in the pan. Oh, good job being garlic. Eventually we'll use this wine to be Liz the pan too. It wasn't just for drinking, but it could be. Let's talk layering. Like the layering of an onion, or the layering of your emotions, or the layering of flavors. What the fuck is layering flavors, Suzanne? Why do you think that's an important thing to do? What does it matter? Why can't I eat just one thing and have it taste like that one thing, and then eat another thing and have it taste like that one thing, and have everything just taste like exactly the thing it is? Because that's not cooking. Mm, that smells good. How do you layer flavors, you ask? By cooking different things for different amounts of times and cooking them together. When you go through changes together, you are forever bonded, which is why I'm still friends with people from high school. They live around the corner. Not kidding. I was really nerdy in high school, and they didn't like me very much. But now they like me a lot because I'm amazing. So this smells fucking delicious. By pulling some of it out now, what we'll do is leave some of the bright carroty onion you taste, and then we'll also get an additional layer of flavor from overcooking basically the other piece. Other layered flavors in this particular recipe are going to come from things like nutritional yeast, soy sauce, potentially some sesame oil, potatoes if you wanted to have those and throw those in. All of the spices, the garlic versus the garlic powder is going to taste a little different. I tend to throw some curry powder in here. Any tofu would make things a little bit creamier, a little bit richer. If you want to throw in some beans, that could be really cool. I think chickpeas would probably blend up really nicely in this. Okay, so the pan, which was pretty much full before, now has about a quarter of stuff left in it. This goes back on the burner. I was not kidding about the tendonitis. Ow. And we'll just go up to a higher heat level than before. Really hot heat. Ow. Ow. That really hurts. Ooh. Look at it. Look at it. It's all smoky and happy. Ha. Oh. <laughs> and let us all cook down in the pan. I used a dry pan. At the about halfway through, I have a little bit of sesame seed oil. Bottom of the blender, we have the wine and carrots and onions and garlic. Middle of the blender, we have lovely, lovely green bits all cooked down. Top of the blender here, we have a fair bit of tofu, apple cider vinegar, a squeeze of mustard, some nama shoyu, which is fancy vegan soy sauce. Last thing I'm going to do is throw in a bit of vegetable broth. It's doing good things. Blend it for a long time. I brought you a little closer. Let's try it, right? Worst case scenario, it's terrible, and I go have a plate of fries at a bar. No, nope, that's a fork. Um. Holy fuck. Mm. Mm. Yes, that's very good. A little bit. Ah, for me. I do that with my dog all the time. Don't 
That's very mean of me. What I added last time, which I will probably add again when I make a bowl of it for myself, is some nutritional yeast on top. It makes things very, I don't know. Um, it looks like this. They look like this. Mm-hmm. So, that's it.